Stay a while and listen. Hello, welcome to the Freak Show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I start up my coverage of Sparklight. It is by Red Blue Games and Merge Games and releases on November 14th, 2019. And anyway, we're going to hop in. We're going to play. I haven't actually, uh, I'm sure you guys know this by now. I haven't touched it yet. I mean, it shows right there. Start a new game. There hasn't been anything. So, not 100% sure what I'm getting into completely. A rerouting circumnavigation course around the storm. We need to get out of here. The storm is highly unusual. I'm detecting severe seismic activity on the surface. For now, we have full systems function. Uh, wait, stand by. We are experiencing a strange corrosion on our hull. It looks. It looks like it's moving. Oh no! Quick! Take out that muck with your wrench! Oh, cool. Can I, can I inspect this? This amulet has been passed down in your family for generations. It's priceless to you. Well, you guys know that I like to, uh, oh, oh, I don't, okay. You guys know I like to experience a game for the very first time on camera most of the time. Well, there's a few occasions here and there, but yeah, nice work. I'm a, I'm a boss. Uh-oh. Ah, yikes. Hammer down that nail before this whole thing falls apart. Uh. Oh. Bonk. Oh no. Ah. It's no use. We're going to have to abandon ship. Oh no, what's happening? Initiating escape protocol. Step on that way. Can I get the? Come on, come on. Let me get the. Oh, I want the amulet. All right. Okay. Come on. Huh. Oh no. The switch is miscalibrated. Yeah, it is. There's no time. You'll have to go without me. Can't you fly? Just come down with me. Afterward. Please don't fret. It truly has been a pleasure serving you. Goodbye, Ada. Well, whatever. I will not cry over spilled robot milk. I don't know what that means. Surprise! Here I am. Why didn't he just jump down and float? Like, he could clearly fly. Well, we seem to be in a... Ooh. We seem to be in an interesting place. What this? Hello? I said open! That is not a wrench, by the way. Hey, my amulet. There it is. Family keepsake. You recovered your family's necklace. You've had it since you were a child. The way it sparkles reminds you of twinkling stars. Huh? Let me guess. It's going to somehow work with this. Dun, 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 dun. No, it's fine. Alright. Okay. Sure. Oh, that's pretty cool. The Spark Slinger. A Sparklight ten Tensioner? Okay. Cobbled together with spare parts from your pockets. It's a little rickety, but it'll do in a pinch. Okay. Uh-huh. Cool, 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 cool. Do I have a set number of shots, or can I just do that, like, for all of the days of my life? Ooh. Oh, I see. Nailed it. Oh, it's fat. turned faster than I thought it would. Okay, I'm just bad at uh, judging the distance. Got it. Bad Bumpy is bad. I've reversed engineered the spark slinger. You can now assemble it in a workshop. Uh, okay. Sh sure. Now where are we at? Oh, cool. I can cut down plants. Yeah! I'm a deforester. Because that's a great and admirable job. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm not. I'm not a deforester. Oh. You found pieces of sparklight. This is the primary currency of Geodia. 
You found a piece of spark light. Yeah, you, you just you literally just said that. Like I, I was there when you said it. All right, so do we go to the right, to the right, to the right, right, right? Wait, how many how many dashes do we have? It looks like an infinite number. Okay, that's good to know. Oh, hello, little muddy, slumpy, swampy guys. Swampy, slumpy lumps. Yeah. I'm taking some more of these. So I assume I can't go across the, the goop. Oh, I can go across the goop. Eh. 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 Yeah, that's right. What? What happened? I found a piece of blue spark light. This is worth five pieces of spark light. All right. Well, that's cool, I suppose. Open. I found a widget bag. It contains some valuable looking gizmos. Someone likely wants it back. All right. I'm intrigued. Oh my goodness. What are you? I'm gonna break your barrels. So I assume you're a shopkeep? What's up, man? Boy, am I glad to see another person. That was quite the storm. Never seen anything like it. And those ground tremors? I was worried this whole place was gonna shift out from under us. Name's Hawkins, and this is, er, well, it was my widget shop. No way I'll be able to do business if these tremors keep up. I heard rumors of a floating city where people are taking refuge from the storms. I'd like to set up shop there, but I can't find my widget bag anywhere. Hey, think you can help me track it down? I'll make it worth your time. See, I've already anticipated your needs and have the widget bag. I think some gremlins nicked it from me during the storm. And there, there's a camp of them there, gremlins southwest of here. See if you can find my widget bag there. See, what happened was... Aha, you found my widget bag. I now talk different. No, it's fine. To be honest, I didn't think you could handle those gremlins. Who uses a ranch as a weapon? Have you ever seen Ratchet and Clank? Literally, that's... Well, I mean, granted, they, they have, like, a tremendously massive amount of weapons by the end of it. But he starts with the wrench. And that's all that really matters. Thanks for the widgets. Now I can head out to find this refuge place folks are talking about. I didn't forget our bargain as a reward for bringing me my widgets. You can keep the bag. Uh, I got a hawk's widget bag. Now I can hold widgets I find in the world. I'll even let you keep a few timed mines I left in there. Plants an explosive on the ground, blowing up after a short duration. If you ever make it to the floating town, come say hello. Yeah, so I imagine if I try to dash across there, it's not going to end well for me. Alright, well. I'm going to plant me an explosive. Bloop. Onward. Oh, well, this looks fun. Bonk. Bonk. So they just ignore the basic attacks. You have to actually, like, literally, legitimately hit them with uh, some knowledge. Gotcha. Yeah, I saw the spark light hanging up in there. I saw it. I saw it. I'm actually loving this game a lot, by the way, guys and girls. The visual style is great. Good old uh, throwback stuff. I like it. It doesn't necessarily mean it's retro. It's just it's the pixel graphic art style they decided to go with. Something to be had about that. It's very enjoyable. I like it. I think it looks lovely. The gameplay works really well. Um, my biggest concern for the game was that now it's it's not necessarily a bad thing because I know a lot of people love it, but I I thought we might be in like in little tiny rooms the whole time and not really get to like move around and do too much. It's be like um, basically like a Binding of Isaac situation. And I know a lot of people love that game, and that's great, and it works, but I was hoping for more in this game, and it looks like there's more, so I'm pretty happy with that. Oh my god, it's my friend! Ada, you're alive! Listen, you shouldn't be here. He's too strong for you. What? Oh no. Get out before it's too... Uh, oh! He ate my friend! It's Boris, the tunneling titan. What? Uh, oh, oh god. Oh god in heaven. Oh! 
Well, they weren't wrong. He is too strong for me. Ow, that feels like that would hurt. Oh no, my mind! <gasps> what, what, how, huh, what? Surprise! Uh, the submarine wrench? I do, but I lost my time mine. Timed mine, rather. Welcome aboard the refuge. It's a safe haven from the chaos of, or on, Geodia. Or Geodia, if you prefer. Uh, it's, been, it's also a modern marvel of technology. We've leveraged contemporary astro theory to achieve perfect energy lossless flight. We pulled you up days ago, but you've been out like a light. That titan gave you a real beating. Yeah, yeah, it didn't go well for me, did it? What were you thinking, fighting one of the Baron's foremen alone? You need to be in a titan rig yourself to stop one, or at least as strong as one. Hold on, that gives me an idea. Can I see your wrench multi-tool? No. Yes, you can see it. Yes! That's prime! Okay, this will only take me a second. Uh, what are you doing? Aha! Uh, it works! I've outfitted your multi-tool with a patch board. Uh, okay. Oh, you also need this. Increase maximum health by a quarter heart. Oh, that's so depressing. Equipable at the multiple or the multi-tool enhancement machine in the medical facility. It's a resilience patch. You can equip it in your multi-tools patch board to survive more hits down on the surface. Well, you think I'm going back down there? I'm up here in Utopia. Why would I possibly? You know, it's fine. Remember, you can only equip patches from the multi-tool enhancement machine here in the med bay. With enough patches, maybe you can take out that foreman and rescue your robot friend you've been mumbling about in your sleep. But if you want more patches, I'm going to need more spark light. They're, power, they're powered by the stuff. Okay, that's fair. The only way to get more spark light is, to, is from the mutants and gremlins back down on the surface. If you want to go back down, speak to crews on the east docks. Man. All right, so so what, what, what this? A kinetic converter. I wonder what that does. A damage patch. Ooh. What do I need energy for? Well, I'm gonna get the resilience patch again. Increase the young. Uh huh. Yay, another quarter heart. Alright, I'm going to go over here, and I'm assuming this is how I do it. This is how I do... Okay, it's fine. Oh no, we have a limited number? Whatever, I got a half heart. It's a little spinny. It's fine. Upgrade the medical facility. Oh, it looks like there's going to be quite a bit of stuff going on right here. Anyways, docs, gotcha. That's refuge, ch Refuge's chief engineer. He hasn't spoken since we launched the Refuge. Wow. Cool, man. I'm just going to sit there and kind of drum your fingers together, huh? All right. Well, I'm going to leave now. It's Pyramid Head. No, 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 it's not. No, not even sort of. What a mess around here. I can't even think. I need some sparklight to get my workshop back in order. These gadgets won't invent themselves. All right, um, and how much doth thou us need? Cool. Oh, I can construct it for a hundred. What, what's this? Nothing. Hey, it's the guy. All aboard. Okay, okay, okay. What was that noise? Something just squeaked. I heard a squeak. Oh my. Okay. What's up? Hmm, I hear something chirping nearby, but I can't find it. Well, I don't know how to... Oh. Whoa, that was... Oh, God. Wow, it's a beat! Wasn't that the happiest sound in the world? Terrifying, but sure. I've been searching everywhere for more beats. I can't believe you found one! Beats used to be easy to find, but the Baron's pollution makes it hard for them to get enough air to sing. And when the beats can't sing, they eventually wilt and die. They've started hiding to avoid the pollution, but I'm afraid they will all die if we don't find them soon. If you find any beats during your adventures, send them here so that they can sing with us. Oh, my name's Harmony, by the way, and this is my golden beat buddy, Tempo. Sure, man. That's cool. 
I'll chop this bush up too. So what happens if I stand here? Nothing? Can I talk to you? Sing for me! Sing, you fool! Alright, never mind. Alright, bye guys. Ah! Oh, I'd be so depressed if I like fell and it was like game over and I'd start over. I'd laugh and I think it'd be hilarious, but I'd also be very sad. Ver 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 shan. So what are you? You're the widget shop person guy. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. I'm not much of a I'm not much of a salesman if I can't set up shop. How am I supposed to earn a living? If you can find more spark light to power my widget shop, I'll give you widgets for free. Cool. What this? Departures at the East Docks. Hey, man. Hey there, rookie. I'm Cruz, ace navigator and pilot. When you want to disembark, talk to me and I'll ferry you where you need to go. So, are you all geared up and ready to head? Absolutely not, but let's do it anyway. Wahoo! Away we go. Well, this is probably going to end poorly for us. But, you know, that that's fine. We, we've, we've been through things before. I want all of the stuffs. Give me all of the stuffs. Yeah. Is this an anchor? A big old gear anchor? Why do I feel like there's nothing in the tall grass? Alright. Slimy blimey. What's up? Oh, aren't you just lovely? No. Oh, 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 oh. Hmm. Simple enough. So far, you know it's not going to stay that simple. That's cool. I can dash through the stuff. Do I have a map? I can switch to co-op. Oh, boy. Yeah. I feel like the hammer slam just, just kills everything. Like, one shot. Bam. Absolutely dead. I know, technically it's a wrench slam, but you, you get the idea. I still feel like there's nothing in any of these uh, tall grass leaf thingy majiglers. Um, um, okay. I miss my bombs. My bombas. What this? To the golden woods! Oh, there's, there's a beat in here. I can't get to you, beat buddy. Maybe I can't. No, nope, need a bomb. All right, I'll come back when I have a bomb. I don't know how much a half a heart's going to help me. But, well, I mean, uh, sorry. Two quarters of a heart. Oh, boy. Uh-huh. Ah, that didn't work. What to say? To the Vinelands! Hey, I found another beat! Beat it! Beat. Okay, that's fine. Um, that was a Steam achievement that I got, by the way, guys and gals. Also, this is releasing for multiple platforms. I just happen to be having a, the Steam version right here, right now. Is what I am covering. If you guys were curious. Alright, well, apparently we can't go that way. Because we need, like, a shovel, maybe? I'm not, I'm not sure what we need. We definitely need a bomb to get the, the little beat buddy up over here. Oh, stuff just respawns completely. That's unfortunate for them. No. Oh! Wait, I can break? Oh yeah, I can break these smaller rocks. I forgot about that. I don't know if there's a point to doing so. But I can do it. Wait, 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 what's just why are there different things here than there were before? I mean it's fine. Got him. Alright, let's go check out down here. And open. Alright, he's dead. Alright, we're up to 68 spark light. Feeling pretty good about ourselves here. This guy don't stand no chance, no how. He done got got. Ooh, 
I got something. What is that? Launches star or sorry, spark clusters into the air, exploding all around me. I wonder if I can do something to these things. Nope. Oh boy. Hmm. <laughs> eh. Okay, do I go down? Do I go left? Do I go right? There's actually quite a bit going on here. Gown. Bloop. Gone and gone. You think the explosions that I can launch with the Sparky Markies are gonna do anything? I don't think so. I think I need an actual mine, but I'm gonna give it a shot. Oh, no, it, it, it worked. It actually worked. Okay. Unexpected, but cool. Oh, boy. Bloop. What this? Hey, discharges to refill your energy meter. Uh, I don't think I have an energy meter, but you know, whatever. Is cutting all this grass necessary? I feel like it's not. I mean, it is Sparklight, not Lawnmower Simulator 2019, so. I assume it's not necessary, but it's a lot of fun. It is a very uh, appealing sound effect, and graphically I like it too. With all the little grass shoots flying all over the place. It's fun. Boop! I do something to these things? Is there uh, just a cool sound that they make? Oh, cool, I got more of those. Sweet. Well, we have over a hundred at this point. I wonder if I can hit them when they're fully underground. I cannot. I was just curious. I didn't think I'd be able to, but I figured I'd try it. Alright, sweet. Um, hmm. Uh oh. You take care of you. Oh, you done hit something. Oh dear. No. You like that slick dodge? I did too. I thought it was pretty good. Oh, cool, I can just one shot swing on him. Alright. I can't seem to figure out if there's any. Oh. Woo! I almost messed that up. I can't seem to figure out if there is a map. I'm, I'm assuming it's something we'll find later, but it's a little bit weird right now. What's making that noise? Oh, it's in the water. Hello, stop hiding. Can I... Wait, can I fall in there? Do I want to fall in there? What's going to happen? I can't see. I need a flashlight. Can I carry you? No. Well, dang. Guess I'm climbing back up. Well, not a lot went down that. Ooh. Not a lot of stuff went down that way, huh? Hmm. 
Well, thus far we're not really accomplishing all that much. I'm sorry to say. Except this one. Yeah. Ooh, illuminates the area for a short amount of time. A pop light. How do I... How do I use that? Well, I have it right now. Can I use the pop light? No. Um, nope, doesn't look like I have any buttons that allow me to do that. Oh well. Unfortunate. Oh, it came out of the bottom of the, the hole. Boo. Unfortunately, it does not appear that I can do anything with that. So, we're going to go over this way. Hey, we found ourselves another one of these. Cool. Ooh. Floaty bits. Voila. Get. Get out of here. By the power of Red Skull, I command you. This seems dangerous, though. Ooh, what the oh, a boom balloon. What? A sparklight inverter backfed into sparklight rectifier. It's so volatile that it must be suspended to protect it from bumps and bruises. Safety first. All right. Oh. Oh, I see. That's a wall. Oh, gosh. I'm, I'm going to be terrible at this. This is going to be bad. I'm sorry. Did I hurt myself? I didn't hurt myself. So it's like tank control, so I need to curve it. Uh, I did it. Poorly, but I did it. Oh boy, howdy. Oh, boo. I almost was good. It was almost it was almost fine. Not not perfect, but it was almost okay. I did it on one side. Now, can I do it on the other? Ah, close enough. It worked. It gave it to me. Oh, sweet merciful lord. What? Seriously? Let me guess. This hits? Oh, it doesn't hit. Oh, okay. Boop. Oh, this isn't as difficult as... Oops. As I was expecting. Oh, I'm the wrong direction. Oops. Alright. Let's face it the right way. Got it. Oh no! Oh no. There we go. So apparently if you hit him a second time, it turns him off. That's good to know. Alright. I'm going to replace it. Thank you for letting me use the boom balloon. I can now re-replicate it in my replicator. I reversed engineered it. I can now assemble it in the workshop. Mm -hmm. Cool story. Alright, I assume at some point I need to get my way back to our place of origin because we're not done with the episode. So probably a good plan. Um, yeah, why not? Ooh, I got more of those. Cool. All right, we're gonna try our very best. I, I'm just gonna skip over a lot of this stuff. And we're gonna hope that we're able to make it. I haven't been up here yet, have I? No, I don't think so. Oh, well, hello there. Excuse me, I'll be with you in a moment. Did that hurt me? I, I don't... I can't tell.
Okay. Sup? Whoa, I didn't think I'd meet anyone out here. I'm Pogo. Nice to meet you. I was exploring with my sister Margo, but we got split up. I can't go back to the refuge until I know she's safe. Think you could find her for me? When you find her, give her this medallion to let her know I'm safe. A stone medallion signifies Pogo is safe in his travels. Thanks, be careful. If the world fractures before you find her, it will break that medallion. I'm sorry, what? We were exploring the Vinelands when we got split up. Maybe she's still there. Yeah, I can't get to the Vinelands. I'm sorry. Well, this is a depressing place. Aw, oh, couldn't get the dodge off. I finally took some damage, though. I mean, I guess that's cool. The only damage we took before this is when we got owned by the uh, the old scraggly magly uh, foreman of doom. All right. Well, maybe not ideal, but not too bad. I'm hoping to find um, some health now. I'm actually a little bit concerned. I have proven that I am no longer invincible, so you know. Have I been this way before? I don't... I don't have any idea. Probably? I've definitely been this way before. Okay. Oh no! Okay, well... I figured out that I can only do short dashes. I could have sworn I've dashed across the gap bigger than that before. Apparently not. Hey. Hey there. It's been a while since I saw another person out here. My name's Margo. I'm an explorer. Hey, I've met your brother. Pogo, we're out exploring, but the quake split us up. I want to go back to the refuge, but I can't leave without knowing he's okay. Wait. What do you have? Is that Pogo's medallion? You monster! So he's okay, hooray! Time for me to head home! Please take this. I found it while I was exploring. I have no idea how to use it. The Vinelands Explorer's Badge. Uh, this patch reveals the Vinelands on the world map when you land in the world. What? Thank you for your help. If you're ever up at the refuge, come say hello. See you around. Y you might. You might see us around. That's embarrassing. See? Before I leave, I'd like to end up with a uh, 200 minimum. I know we're getting close to the, the end of our adventures here, but... Hey, little guy. Give me this. Uh... I wonder if that hurts us at all. I'm very tempted to try it, but at the same time, I'm horrified to think that I might kill myself. Oh, I'm stuck. I oh, know, I'm stuck in the glass case of emotion. Really, I'm gonna go all the way around here. That well, explains why I couldn't get across where I was at before. Bloop! Alright, we're over 200 down. Hey, we made it back! Is this the way up? Cool. How do I how do I get out of here though? That's kind of a real problem. Oh, well this is a thing. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna come gather this up over here. Oh, I heard a noise. Oh, hey, there it is. I suppose we'll break it off right here. 
Uh, given a chance, yar har har. Look what just washed up mateys. It's our next contestant. What are you waiting for? Come on down. Uh, we'll come on down in the next episode. I have no idea when or how to save the game. Hopefully it has some sort of autosave feature and we're able to just continue where we're left off. But that's it for now, guys and gals. In the next episode, I will hopefully find my way back up to the refuge and we'll be fine. Anyway, I really had a lot of fun with this game. I love the art style. I like the sound design. All of it. It's, just, it's great. The gameplay and the mechanics are fine. It's good. I like the various different things that we're going to be able to use from the, the widgets to the fidgets to the gidgets. All the stuff. It's, it's quite good. It's quite good. Alright folks, if you guys want more information about the game, where to get the game, information on the developer, the publisher, or any of that wonderful fun stuff, it'll all be down below in the description of the video and various links like it always is. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and until the very next episode, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later.